In this tutorial, I will be showing you how to upload and embed an audio file with a simple HTML5 code. The end result will be a simple, controllable audio player that will work across all browsers as well as mobile devices. Since not all browsers and mobile devices are the same, we will have to take a few steps to ensure that the audio file will play correctly across all platforms. Here's an example of what this will look like. Here, I uploaded the song, Take Me Out to the Ball Game. Notice that I can press play and pause, scrub through the length of the song, and control the audio levels. Each browser will display this audio player a little differently, but the controls will be the same. To see how we created this, let's click on edit to edit the post. Here, you can see that the code is simply the word audio. Let's delete this for now and go through the whole process. We need to first upload the audio file that we will be embedding. Please note that we are using WordPress in this tutorial, so some of the uploading procedures may be different if you are using something else. In WordPress, we click on the Add Audio button. Click on Select Files, then navigate to the audio file that you want to upload. This is an MP3 file, which works on most browsers, but soon you will see that it doesn't work on all browsers. Once this is done uploading, you will see text boxes that we can fill out. You will want to fill these out as detailed as possible for search engine optimization, but for now we will skip this. Copy the URL where it says Link URL, then click on Save All Changes to exit this window. Now you want to start adding the code. You can copy and paste this code from the blog post in the description of the video, but for now I will be writing this code out. You will notice that there is a controls equals quotation mark controls quotation mark section after the first audio tag. This is what creates the player, and without this, you would not be able to play, pause, scrub, or control audio levels. We then add the source section, where we can paste the URL of the mp3 file. After we add the closing audio tag, we can update the page and view it. As you can see, the audio player looks just like it did before and works perfectly on Google Chrome. However, if we switch browsers to Firefox and refresh the page, you will see that there is a big X where the audio file should be. If we click on this, it will look like it is loading, but will never actually play the file. This is because some browsers, like Firefox, cannot play MP3 files from the HTML5 audio tag. We are going to have to add another audio file that Firefox can handle. The file type that we want to use is a .ogg file, so we would need to convert the MP3 to OGG. There are a few websites that can do this for free, including media.io, which we will be using for this tutorial. Click on Choose File, then select the MP3. Where it says Select Format, make sure that OGG is selected. I would recommend selecting high quality, but you can select a lower quality if you are concerned about bandwidth usage. Click on Convert. Once it's done converting, download the file. From here, let's go back to the blog post. We will want to add another line for the new OGG file's code. Click on the Add Audio button again, and now we can upload the new OGG file. Just like before, you will want to fill out these text boxes for search engine optimization. Then you can copy the URL and click Save All Changes to exit out of the uploader. All we have to do is add an identical piece of code underneath the MP3 files code, except we replace the MP3's URL with the OGG's URL. Once you do this, click on Update and then view the page. It looks exactly like it did before, and this audio player will play the song perfectly in Google Chrome. If we go over to Firefox and refresh the page, you will see that there is now a controllable audio player. Firefox can now play the audio file perfectly since we have the OGG file embedded. As I said before, each browser has a slightly different looking player, but the functions are the same. 
What is happening is that the browser will pick whichever audio file it can handle and will ignore the other one. Chrome will play the MP3 file while ignoring the OGG file. And Firefox will play the OGG file while ignoring the MP3 file. Even though most browsers and mobile devices will be able to handle HTML5 tags, not all of them can. Luckily, there's another simple bit of code that we can add to accommodate these browsers. If you look at another page from the Nextwave site that has an embedded audio file, you can see that there's some additional code, including this fallback tag. This is for the browsers that can't handle HTML5. If we copy this, then add it to our new page before the closing audio tag, anything after this will only be seen by the browsers that can't handle HTML5. So if we type in, your browser cannot handle HTML5, and click on update, and view page, you can see that this text is not displayed. That's because our browser can handle HTML5. As one final bit of precaution, there's a way that we can have an embedded Flash player as our fallback using the Google Reader audio player. If we go back to the page from the Nextwave site, you can see that there's an embed code under the fallback tag. This is the code that we want to use, and it is available on the blog post in the description of this video. Copy this code, then go back to the new page. Let's delete our text that says your browser cannot handle HTML5 and paste the code in its place. We need to replace the URL after the audio URL section to the ballpark.mp3 file URL. So copy that URL and paste it in place of the URL that's in the Google Reader code. Make sure you don't delete the quotation mark on accident. There is a height and width section so you can adjust this to fit the size of your blog post. For now, let's click on update and view the page. Once again, you won't notice a difference because we set this as a fallback. Just for the sake of demonstration, I'll paste this code outside of the fallback tag so you will know what it looks like. As you can see, there's a Google Reader player that you can use to play the MP3 file. It's not the best looking audio player, but since this is just a fallback, we aren't necessarily worried about the look. Also, unlike when we use HTML5, Firefox and other browsers can handle MP3s that are played through a Flash player like the Google Reader Audio Player. Since some mobile devices are not Flash enabled, such as the iPhone or the iPad, we are only using the Flash player as a fallback. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or have any other tips, please leave them in the comments section.